Welcome! This is a tutorial for Live 2D Cubism 3.0 beginners. By the end of this episode, you will be able to prepare the PSD material for your character's model to use as the texture. We will go through three main categories, the face, the hair, and the body. The main difference between our regular drawing and drawing for Live 2D usage is that Live 2D drawing requires the attention to potential void area. Void area may potentially be in every layer that is underneath another layer. When we draw normally, we draw the image of what's visible in a snapshot of moment. In Live 2D, as the character moves around, some of the underneath area may reveal. In this character's default state, some hidden area covered by the front hair piece is exposed as the hair moves around. We need to be aware of these potential void areas as we draw and fill up these voids. We will now go through the list of parts this character contains. There are multiple hair groups for this model, the front, the middle, and the back. The front consists of two strands at the center. They are in separate layers. The middle pieces may look as one whole piece, but it is actually four different pieces. The back is one piece after the void is filled. There is no absolute rule on how many layers are required to have. It depends on how you want the hair to perform in action. Separating pieces allow more independent movements to give richer three-dimensional effect. However, it gives more work to the rigging and animation process. Now we move on to the face. After filling the void, the face looks like the head of a bald character. The ears are separated on different layers. The eyes are more complicated. Left and right eyes should be entirely separated. Left and right brows are two. Each eye has an outer and an inner group of parts. Outer group has the eyelid or eye cover. Usually there are eyelashes, but in this case, there aren't. Inner group is sometimes referred as eyeball parts. It includes the pupil and the eye white. Now for the mouth. There is an upper lip and lower lip. They can be identical. Inside the mouth, there should be a layer for the inner texture that only shows when the mouth opens. There is also a teeth layer. That's all for the face. The last part is the body. The body can be divided into three main groups. Upper body, lower body, and arms. For this model, the upper body has two collar pieces around the neck and the torso. The lower body includes the pants and left and right legs. Each leg is separated at the knee. The shoe is also on its own layer. Since this character will move his legs quite a bit, there are hidden layers of the inner pants that would reveal when it is in action. The left and right arms have their layers behind the body layer. Each arm is separated into the upper arm, forearm, and hands. This model has more than one pair of hands. This is intended to be interchangeable when in action. Once again, the division of parts is not absolute. If you want the particular part to move independently, then it needs to be on a layer of its own. Now we move on to the remaining procedure for the PSD import. For the layer group structure, Cubism 3.0 is able to automatically set up the texture part structure according to your PSD's layer structure. Feel free to make group folders and subfolders. Once you have distributed all the parts, remember to merge the outline layer with the corresponding color layer. Transparency is acceptable. 
the opacity can be less than 100%. If you have a layer that is a blend effect layer, such as overlay, screen, or multiply, these effects are not transferable to Cubism 3.0 even though Cubism has its own built-in blend effects. You'd need to merge the blend layers to the corresponding color layer for your PSD. Other than merging the layers manually, you can also use a Photoshop script specifically for merging layers into a well-organized structure. As you can see, now we have each outline layer merged with the corresponding color layer, ready for Live 2D import. To use this script, there are three methods. After you download it from the official Live 2D website, drag and drop the .jsx file into Photoshop. You will need to drop it at the Canvas tab on an empty space on the tab area not on the current canvas. You may also use the script by clicking File on the top menu. Next, go to Scripts, and then Browse. Finally, locate your script file and select to open it. It should automatically execute the script. Alternatively, you can also import the script into your Adobe Photoshop's script folder. After rebooting Photoshop, you should see a new option under File, Script. The PSD file is finally ready for import. Well done!